Replacing the background in Adobe Photoshop for iPad is really simple. Let's get to it. So what we're going to do in this short video is show you how to quickly and easily remove the background and change it, put in another background. You've, just for example, you've got a nice photograph like this one of the gentleman there with a lovely moustache. But we want the background, which in this case is just a plain, ordinary background. We want to replace that with something more interesting and something more suitable. Something maybe like this. Now let's select that. You can see that background there. And we're going to place that background behind the gentleman in this image. Now to start with this, we simply go up to the selection tools and you go right down to the bottom and making sure you've got the right one selected, remove the background. And there we go. That leaves us with just the man on his own. Now, you go and select the background that you want, which in this case I've already selected, so we're not wasting time going around the files looking for it. And there we are. There's the background we want. Now, how do we get that behind the gentleman? Simple. Take hold of it and just drag it down into position. And there it is. Now, he looks a little bit mm, funny standing out there on his own. So go over and select the Move tool over there. We don't want to move the background, although you can put that in position if you like. Take hold of the image of the man, the selected man, and there we go. Now we can move that down there. We've got to move the top one again. There's the background. There's the man again selected. Let's move that down there so he's just he's just there. There we go. That's all there is to it. You've changed the background and you can do that with just about any image that you want. Of course, you have to select a suitable image, but that's all there is to it. Select your background. Select the image, the man that you want to replace. And share it. Or save it. Quick export. We'll just leave it at that for the moment. That's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial, changing the background easily and quickly in Adobe Photoshop on the iPad. Now here's a little bonus for you that I'm tacking on to the end. Let's have a look at how you do a similar thing, changing the background, only using a slightly different selection method. And we're going to adjust the size of the image slightly. Let's do that first. We've got this image selected. We'll go to that tool there and just bring that out to there so that it completely covers the, the palette. Now, you might think that's a bit large, but that's okay. This will all be revealed shortly. Now, we go to the cancel, go to the selection tool. And in this case, we don't want to just remove the background. We want to select the subject. Because what we've got here, if a person has a lot of mm, fine hair or something like that, or it might be a forest of trees, something that needs a little bit of refining. So we've got the subject selected, and it's very smartly selected the subject. We're going to refine the edges. You can see marching ants. We won't change anything there really because I don't actually want to change much there. What I want to do is select the selection and we want to create a new layer when we apply the, um, the smoothing. Okay, so let's just select done and you can see it's a little rough around the edges. I could have done something with the refine, but what it's done is selected the subject quite neatly, although this time it appears to have a white background, but that's just a trick. Now, we've got our 
We've got our background selected. That's the new background for it. And again, we'll go to there because we want to get this out full size without leaving the white edges around it like a letterbox. And there, that's done. Simple as. Let's just drag that down and put it below that one. There we are. Now that's a much better image, don't you think? We can select that one, the move tool, and we can move him slightly, but you can see he's got black borders around him. So you'll have to change that, but that's what we want at the moment. Now that's got him just where we want him, right in the background and looking really good. Very nice. Now, if you now remember, I did that because you may have wanted to refine those edges more, which is always a good idea to be smooth with that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like it, press the buttons, thumbs up, press the bells, all those fancy things. See you in the next little video. Go ahead. Make my day. Subscribe.